this is right now. This is happening right now. Yeah, this is changing crazy. lives immediately, right, like right now. And so we want to bring it to you as soon as we find out about it and show you ways to profit. So let's talk about ways to make money with this. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Making Money with AI. We are so excited to share with you this interesting case study of what's happening right now in the world. Uh, somebody posted recently on Facebook, and I contributed to that conversation, and it was basically showing a Goldman Sachs study saying 300 million jobs are going to be replaced by AI. And people were kind of doubting it. They, they were like, nah, there's no way. 300 million jobs, all blah. Well, let me show you something. Wendy's is testing AI chatbot that takes drive through orders. It says, fast food chain Wendy's is partnering with Google Cloud on an AI chatbot to take orders at a drive through And it will be launched in June as a pilot in Columbus, Ohio. And based on how the AI ordering system performs, the pilot will then be expanded. The AI could potentially handle a huge portion of service. Around 75 to 80% of customers prefer to order through the drive through according to the chain. Wendy's is not the first fast food chain to turn to automated processes. McDonald's launched an automated restaurant in 2022. I've actually been to one of those and they have a kiosk and you just order touch screen and then you go to the counter to, to pick it up, right? So it says generative AI, which are tools designed to generate text, images, or other media from user prompts, will have the ability to converse with Wendy's customers, understand made-to-order requests, and generate answers to frequently asked questions according to the company. It'll be integrated with restaurant hardware and the sales system. Some have expressed concern about quick pivots to using AI technology. For instance, some worry it could take jobs away from people. A March Goldman Sachs report found that AI services could automate as many as 300 million full-time jobs worldwide. Let me ask you this. How many fast food workers are there in just the U.S. alone? A lot. And listen, don't mess with my fast food, Dave. This is very, <laughs> very important to me. But think about this, Dave. So yep. like there's like ebbs and flows, right? So like people complain that there's never a cashier. I can't find a cashier at Walmart. Or, you know, you, you, you're you talking about a fully automated McDonald's. Yep. And that's great that you can do that. But sometimes you want to talk to a person. Just give me a person. Well, guess what? This kind that fulfills that need without an actual person. So I could be there and instead of that person coming on the whatever it is, the intercom, they're like, how oh, can I take your order? Because you're the thousandth order and they could care less. It's like, hi, right. welcome to Wendy's. Could I take your order? And it sounds like a real person. You're like, yeah, uh, you know, whatever Wendy sells, I'll have a hamburger and French fries. Okay. Would you like a soda? And you're having that conversation, but it's like, yep. man, that, that person was friendly. And then you get yep. up and you're like, where, where is it? And all of a sudden it just pops out your food. But that <laughs> you're getting that, that yearning that you want for a nice person because customer yep. service is dying in the United States. You're getting that nice person, that bubbly person, and they're getting your, your stuff perfect, right? So yep. saying, could I have extra pickles on that? And the person's like, oh my gosh, I don't want to deal with this idiot asking for extra pickles. This person's like, sure, we can give you extra pickles. It's like, wow. And usually they give me attitude when I talk about pickles. So I think this is a great thing. Yeah, it's amazing just to, to realize you could be talking to a chatbot and not even know it because AI voice is going to be so good. And you, you're thinking you're talking to just the friendliest, nicest person, you know, and they're taking order and it's all AI generated and whatnot. But imagine the number of jobs that's going to replace um, easily 300 million, in my opinion, not just the, the fast food, but any other, uh, you know, types of AI, uh, but also the many more opportunities it's going to create. So I made the point in my post in reaction to this, and I was saying, Hey, yeah, it's going to re replace some jobs, but it's going to create so many more opportunities for new jobs. And so, again, the people who are asleep at the wheel on this, the people who are thinking, oh, AI is just going to pass. Oh, AI is no big deal. Uh, they're going to be in for a rude awakening one way or the other, right? And the other thing is we're all going to be using AI one way or another in our lives, in our businesses, in our work, in everything, even in relationships. So. Be aware that this is, it's not coming down the road. It's here already, right? It's here. It's happening right now. That's why this is so exciting just to share this stuff with, with, it, with you all in this channel is because this is right now. This is happening right now. Yeah, this is changing crazy. lives immediately, right? Like right now. And so we want to bring it to you as soon as we, we find out about it and show you ways to profit. So let's talk about ways to make money with this. Okay. So this is Wendy's. 
There's McDonald's. Further down the article, it talks about Carl's Jr., right? These are the giants of fast food. But imagine the opportunity to do this service for smaller drive throughs of all kinds. There's lots of mom and pop drive through restaurants, drive through re breakfast place, uh, drive through uh, mom and pop hamburger place. Just imagine being able to do that for them. And now they don't have to pay a full-time employee to take the orders. They can just focus on serving the orders, right? And that's just one idea. What other things do exist out there that are drive through besides food? There's all kinds even of drive through regular, stuff. Even regular restaurants. Like you go regular. there, where, where the heck is that waiter? Exactly. You're here for 15 minutes. Well, as soon as you get in, if you're like, I know what I want, it's like, would you, okay, here is boom. The stuff's already in there. Yeah. I would love it. Exactly. Uh, coffee shops, drive through coffee shops, right? Uh, drive through pharmacy. You name it. There's so many drive through iterations of all kinds of things that could benefit from this. And then if we expand it out, there are probably other ways that you can apply the same idea of having somebody who normally just takes orders and sometimes gets those orders wrong. Uh, it doesn't have to be a drive through could be over the phone, right? And that's an AI chatbot as well. So uh, the opportunities there, again, we have offshoots and offshoots and offshoots of ways to make money. Uh, that's why we started this channel because it's like, our mind is blown. It's kind of like my image here. Like it's just exploding right all over the map. That's um, literally your mind being blown in the background. Dave. It, is. <laughs> it is. Well, just, you know, I mean, you know where they need this is the Department of Motor Vehicles. What oh, man. Right. What Department of Motor Vehicles is not slow, is not. Oh, up. wow. Uh, right now, actually, when I uh, renew my license plate for my car, there, it's, it's, it's basically like an AI where it asks you. It has a conversation with you. That exists right now. Uh, to 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 renew your driver's license, but imagine if you're like you know your your son or something wants to go get his driver's license for the first time. It's like why deal with that when you can just go to this kiosk and it's going to do everything for you? Because a lot of times in those kind of positions, Department of Motor Vehicles, um, um, among a myriad of other things, it's the same kind of questions that they ask. It's not like all they're the like, time, all I the time. It's the yep. same thing that could have branches that go off. So you just put that all in the AI because and then it's done perfectly. So. Department of Motor Vehicles, you're about to get disrupted. Oh my goodness! Can you imagine? Can you check this out? So imagine you're you're at the DMV, you park. There's a little sign, just like when you go uh, pick up groceries. There's a little sign. Hey, dial this number to start the process. Right? You're sitting in the comfort of your car. You're not waiting in line. You're just like, okay, you know. And there's an app, and you and you're talking with a chat bot, and it does all the processing for you. Okay, now go, come into window four to pick up your whatever your document. And you're done. Yeah. Like all of a sudden you enjoy all of a sudden you enjoy going to the DMV. Exactly. <laughs> that's a that's a bizarre thought that you would enjoy going to the DMV, right? But this can make that happen easily. Like it's not even a stretch. It's easy. Now, will it happen? Probably not. There's bureaucracy, government, et cetera. Right. But the point is, wow, that's a that's a killer idea. But it's People... gonna exponentially happen because when you look at something like Wendy's is now testing it. Well, yep. once they do that. Every other uh, fast food place needs to do it or they're left behind because they're saving, those margins are so thin that they're saving X amount of money by now replacing all of those front end workers. And, and don't even think about it like you say to yourself, well, gosh, I'm not going to create the next app for, for Wendy's. But you know what? Maybe you have like a school, your kid goes to elementary school where well, you can make a little chat bot that when you have a local fundraiser or something, people could interact with the, the bot to get their cookies or whatever. And you could make that app for your school. They use it, they love it. And now you sell that app to all the other little elementary schools around. Like that's how you start businesses. Just exactly. think about your life, your microcosm of how you live. How can you use AI to help your local community, your sports team, whatever. And then if they love it, boom, you've just, you've just not, now you can push that out because there's a million other towns that work the exact same way. Yeah. So just to expand it just a little before we close out is anything where there's paper pushing, anything where there's processing of data, anything where people are inputting information into a computer, anything like that can be disrupted by this type of technology, this AI chatbot technology, anything. So that really kind of expands the brain and you start thinking, wow, what, what are some areas where like the DMV is a beautiful example, James, because Gosh, everybody hates going there. 
hates being in the sea of humanity, just waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> We're waiting on a human, right? We're all waiting on this, this row of, I don't know, seven or eight humans to do their work and they have no incentive to go fast, right? When the same exact thing, those all those people waiting could get it done instantly. Like they would not have any wait, wait time at all. Beautiful example, I love that example. It's a great example to understand the power of this. So uh, if you guys like this video, please share it. We would love to just get the word out about how incredible AI is going to be and is already. And uh, be sure to also pick up your free goodies. We have a free course down below. We have a free newsletter down below and anything else that we may put into these description boxes down below. So thanks again. And we look forward to seeing you next time on Making Money with AI.